Today we're going to reduct my heating system underneath my bed to heat a few compartments under there because I'm about to make a pretty big upgrade. Yeah, some soap, some car cleaner, which I haven't had the chance to use yet. This is the first time this has ever gotten a full clean out. Holy cow, a little bit of a... A little Febreze in here, you want some Febreze? <laughs> a lot of Febreze. It's a lot of Febreze. Wood? I'm stink, oh that stuff smells amazing. Wood Febreze? Yeah, smells amazing. Four bottles well, You lose them and then you just buy some more. You need some rags? I have a lot of rags for living in a van. We all talk like van lifers. We're minimalists. No, no. No, we're, we're not. Our whole house I have, everywhere I have hundreds of rags. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got some cruise food. Yeah, there's a little bit of stuff in here. I found another rag. And another rag. Another rag. There's all cruisy's food in here. Like bags of snacks. That little center compartment under my bed has become quite useful. A majority of that is all Cruz's dog treats from you guys, honestly. Every time we do a subscriber gathering, he gets stocked up with so many treats, and that's where they go. That little one, that white bottle, and the blue bottle you see on the ground, those are my new big pee bottles. I bought them at Costco, and I'm going to mount them in the door when I get back to the shop. The rest of that cupboard is just my shower bag and my towels, and whatever else I can shove in there. But it felt good to give the van a good cleaning today. Oh, they're not that bad. Oh, this one's a little dusty. All right. You guys are all probably wondering right now what's happening. Well, we are going to add some more ducting to my current heating system. And I'll tell you why. So right now my heater goes from right there gets ducted right out the front and this little turny dial thing here allows me to well point the air anywhere i want so i could point it upwards here it's nice when i'm dra drying off some clothes that's hanging here or down by my feet when i'm editing or mr cruzy wants to stay warm but we are going to heat that compartment and heat that compartment since we last talked i decided we're adding four batteries to my van removing the two 100 amp hours out of here and adding 400 amp hours in the back. But a part of doing that is to make sure that the batteries stay warm enough throughout the winter season. So we are going to use my van's inbuilt system already and reduct the heating into both battery compartments. But we'll dive into all that detail stuff on the battery video, but I wanna show you guys this because Rainer is gonna run the ducting today. This is how we're gonna split it so there's a couple of these little these are cool so yeah you just turn the dial and it spins the spins the little gate in here right there you see that so you can turn it to adjust how much you want in the compartments it's hard to see right there see <laughs> pretty cool but check this out it has a mountable dial so i can adjust it from like wherever this is mounted in the van just spin it and adjust how much heat goes into each compartment. Pretty cool. So this will be the main heat to heat the inside and then we'll have a turning dial to adjust to each battery compartment. And uh, that's, the, that's the heating tube. Hey, where are you going, Cruzy? I'm coming to you. Hey, buddy. Come on. 
<laughs> He's like, ah, oh, yeah, let's get on the bed, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> the camera, I guess. <laughs> um, so while the mattress is out, I'm gonna try and pull one layer off of it. This is six in an eight inch mattress, and it's just a little bit too tall for my bed. So when I'm sitting in there, my neck has to bend sideways when I'm at my desk. So we're gonna try and pull off the top layer. Um, I got it here. Okay, perfect. Let's we'll start from the side that works. I would like to not have in your butt in my face, thank you. <laughs> I'm glued very much. This, some areas are super glued. This is what you don't do when you buy a brand new mattress. You buy a six inch one, not an eight inch one. No, it looked like almost it was like 10 inches. Oh yeah, as soon as it, when it first went in, I was like, oh, this is perfect height. But then by the time 24 hours went by and I had a chance to actually raise right up, it was like at least 10 inches. No way that was an eight. We got a full plan on what we're gonna do with the heater piping. Uh, currently right now, the pipe came out of the heater, looped around, and came up to the exhaust up here, which is a little loose. Tighten that up, that's better. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out of the heater and we're going to put a T right here so that we can send the air in out to here, but it'll also go to the back. And we're going to do another T right here and that's going to send air to this back compartment over here. And then that's also going to have a pipe that goes all the way across and over to here. And then we're going to put our two diverter valves in the back so that we can turn on each battery compartment individually so that we're not uh, trying to send too much air to one side or the other and that way we can regulate it fully. Two ends. That's it, turn the dial, that's it. It's super easy. To open, open or close off the air. Oh, that's pretty cool. You guys have watched me struggle a lot this summer with having low battery power. And that's all because I'm not driving around as much as I used to. I used to drive around like a crazy man, but have you seen the gas prices lately? You just can't afford to keep doing that every day just to generate some electricity. So we're doing a big battery upgrade so I can store more power on those driving days or good solar days. But a really great thing about doing this heating ducting to heat the new two battery compartments is this heating ducting will heat the entire underside of my bed. That means maybe less moisture, if moisture were to ever build underneath my mattress, and just a warmer sleep. All you guys see is just the camera angle. You don't see me over here holding the light <laughs> and uh, trying to be in here and, well, you know, get the shot. I'm doing that. Good. So this is going to mount in there like this. The air is going to be coming in here. As you can see, it's got the diverter blocking it. So as we slowly open it up, it allows air through out this side, because this is going to be right up against the bed. So it's not going to allow air up the top. So it's going to be sitting there. You open, open that up a slight, lets the air pass through underneath and it helps divert it down into the battery compartment. Alright, so the ducting on here is all roughly plumbed in. Um, everything just needs to be bracketed and stuff like that on here. Uh, cables are partially put in. We're going to pause this project right here. We need to talk about those batteries. So one second and let me tear down this stuff and get my bed back in here. Alright, so cutting the bed down has made the cover that came with it extremely loose. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the cover on it or not but it uh it's definitely better i can definitely sit fully upright in here oh yeah way better the only time can you guys even see my head <laughs> so i can sit fully upright in here now my head is rubbing on it a little bit so when i throw my headphones on to do some video editing it may be a tiny bit of a problem but um 
I think next time, if this mattress ever has a problem or anything like that, I'll probably end up ordering a six inch one. I'm pretty sure we probably knocked it down to maybe seven inches by removing that little bit, little bit off the top here. Look, look how loose that is. <laughs> that was super tight on it when I bought it. I mean, this is loose, but if it causes a problem, I'm just gonna remove it actually. Um, I run a mattress pad anyway, so this just is there to protect the foam. But if I'm running a mattress pad on top, I never had a zippered cover on my last one. So we'll, we'll see how that works. But it feels good now that I have something a little bit shorter, which means my neck will hopefully stay a little better. Because I found this morning my neck was a bit sore from, from editing because I'm like a little bit crouched down this morning. And I should have just sat on the other side of it. But I, by the time I get into my edit and my neck started to hurt, I'm like, oh, that's right. Sit on the other side of your desk, bro. You could have sat on the poo bucket and sat as upright as you wanted. But anyway, guys, I know today's video is kind of all over the place. And something came in I need to show you guys because these videos are coming up very soon. Inside of this box is uh, something pretty cool. Whoa. Uh, look at that. This is a 100 amp hour SOK lithium battery. I have four of them going in there. When it comes to looking for batteries in your van, you guys are gonna do the same thing that I did. I went out there and I looked at all the big heavy hitter companies, all the ones that you always hear about, and I just couldn't afford them. Then I took to the Academy of YouTube, like all you guys would, to do some research on some batteries. And I came across so many videos where people compared the SOK batteries to the Battleborns. They were pulling them apart, they were bench testing them, they were comparing the builds and everything else. And every single one of those videos said that these SOKs are super well built. They're bench test just the same as the Battleborns and super comparative and a fraction of the price. So, well, <laughs> you guys know why I made my decision. The SOK batteries are going to be installed pretty soon. We have a couple video series coming up. Anyway, guys, um, we're going to go. I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to go sleep in a nice warm bed tonight.